Hello, welcome to another episode of Bat Dan's Thoughts. So at the time of this recording, we have Black Adam coming out this week, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I thought, you know what? Let's talk about his other DC movie that came out this year, Super Pets. Super Pets stars The Rock as Crypto, Superman's pet dog from Krypton. So this is not going to be a play-by-play. I'm going to talk about what stood out to me in this movie, good or bad. And this will be spoilers, because the movie's been out for since the summer. So you've been warned, spoilers. But from right from the start, one thing I really love about this movie was Crypto's bond with, with Superman, kal Clark Kent. I really, just from the start, you see Krypton about to explode, and you see kal baby kal and Crypto playing, really bonding, and then kal parents come and put him in the ship towards Earth. And Crypto doesn't completely know what's going on, but what he does know is that he does not want to see kal be sent off alone. So he runs in the ship, as it closes, to be with Kal-El. And jor says something very important. Watch over our son to Crypto. And he kind of understood that. And then Krypton blows up. kal crying. And Crypto just comes, licks him, comforts him. And I really love this scene. I, I just, I had a personal connection with this scene. Growing up, my family had a black lab named Casey. And Casey was very loyal to us. When I came home from school as a kid, she would always run up to me. She would sniff me. She was just so happy to see me. I remember one time when I arrived, she, I was using the bathroom and she butt her head in to just to see me, not caring that I was taking care of my business. But I was just, you know, happy that she was happy to see me. And the point of me telling you this story is I understand that bond between a dog and a human really well. When I watched this movie a lot, I just, I really thought about Casey. And just my time with Casey. And I just, it really reminded me of that. So it's another reason why I really wanted to do this review. But it's why this really stood out to me why crypto's relationship with kal stood out to me so much because i just i connected with it so as as you know kal gets older clark i guess he, he's clark now because he's on earth but as clark gets older and he meets lois crypto gets jealous and i really love really kind of love that because that, i mean that's how a dog is you know dogs love their humans dogs are loyal to their humans. So it makes sense that Crypto would be jealous. But I also love the idea that Clark wanted Crypto to learn to socialize and be friends with other animals. And there's another, and Dwayne Johnson really does a good job portraying Crypto, portraying that love towards Clark. You really just see how much Crypto and Clark really love each other. You know, or just... Even the beginning, you know, you see Superman and Crypto fighting crime together and just they're best friends. So when he was jealous of Lois, it really, it made sense. And they really built up to it well. And then you have Ace. Ace is another dog played by Kevin Hart. Surprise, surprise. Dwayne Johnson's right-hand man at this point, it seems like. And I really loved Ace's backstory in this movie. So his backstory was he had a family kind of similar to Crypto. But it and it was two parents and a baby. This this one being a baby girl, but very similar type of story. The only thing that was different was the ending. The baby's about to walk down the stairs and being a baby, fall and die, basically. And then Ace runs in, saves the day, grabs her arm, pulls her to safety. And us viewers are like, good job, Ace, good job. But the parents did not see what we saw. They just hear the baby crying, and they see the bite mark on her arm. So 
Ace was sent to the the pet shop. And one thing Ace said really, I just really loved, is that he said he wouldn't change a thing about it. Because as hard as that was for him, he made a good point that when you love someone, that you're essentially putting yourself first, or them first. And I just, I really love that. And I really felt, I really... You know, it, it hit heartstring for me. I really felt bad for Ace. You know, showed loyalty for a human, and that happened. So, but I just I loved Ace's story. And another thing I really loved about this mo- movie was Lulu, the guinea pig. She was essentially Lex Luthor's. Actually, his guinea pig. What is that? Lex Luthor was experimenting on her, where she thought they were partners, which is. Kind of similar to Lex and Mercy's relationship sometimes is that Lex shows more loyalty or Mercy show, shows more loyalty towards Lex than vice versa. And that's kind of how it was with Lulu is that Lulu thought of Lex as her partner, whereas Lex, she was, again, a guinea pig. <laughs> so funny, guinea pig is a term and also an animal. In this case, Lulu was both. But I just, I really loved how she was just a very, very good villain, I thought. The way she kind of wanted to use that orange kryptonite to gain powers and essentially take over the world. So she was another thing that really stood out to me in this movie. And I just also love Kevin Hart as a, or as, or not Kevin Hart, uh, Keanu Reeves. There we go. Keanu Reeves as Batman. He did a very good job playing a parody Batman in this movie. Every time he was on screen, he would say something about powers being overrated or how I miss my parents. He just played a very good Batman in this movie. And I loved all the other characters in this movie. I loved the pig that worshipped Wonder Woman, the turtle that ran really fast, the squirrel. Honestly, all the characters are great in this movie. I mean, to be honest, I don't have a lot, too much to say about this movie. It was a fun family movie for the kids that I just had a personal connection with. Just because I understand, I understand the bond of a dog and a human. So, not too much to say really about this one. Some things are a little weird for me was, you have the Justice League in this movie, and you had Green Lantern, who was Jessica Cruz in this movie. And she was talking about how there was a squirrel, this alien squirrel green lantern that was in love with her, basically. So it was kind of weird at the end of the movie how she adopted the squirrel in that movie as her pet. That was a little weird. But other than that, I don't really have too much to say. It was a fun movie. And... I give it a 9.1234. Just a fun little movie for the for the kids and for the family. And I love the post credit scene where you see Dwayne or where you see Dwayne Johnson playing Black Adam and Black Adam's dog, and you see Black Adam meeting Superman, foreshadowing a post credit scene we're gonna get this week. And one thing I do kind of want to point out: we say Kryptonian dog. A dog from Krypton is just a Kryptonian dog. So if we can have a Kryptonian dog, why can't we have a Kryptonian human? Think about it. So if you like this, if you like this, please like, share, subscribe, comment. What did you think about this movie? And please like, share, subscribe. I can't wait for Black Adam. I'm excited for that. And have a bat-tastic day.